All right, boys, we finally made it. We are out here at Frank and Sons Collectibles Card Show. We're gonna do our best to trade a lot of these um, one-off winners that we found. Yesterday I went through the Yu-Gi-Oh pack. I have a couple of trading cards from uh, football and then some Pokemon. So what my goal is today is to trade some of these for unopened boxes. And so that way I can get everybody to like start like doing box break videos and stuff like that too. So if we could pull that off, we will. If not, we're gonna snag a couple of things, but I've always heard a lot about, about this place and being here is super exciting. So let's go ahead and take a trip. Wow, look at this place. Just like what you see on the YouTube videos, this place is epic, bro. Like where do you even start? Which way do you go? Um, this place closes at about five o'clock, so we've got about an hour and some change here. But this is, this is crazy, dude. It's like the holy grail of everything you're ever looking for. for every type of collectible, everything you can think of, Funko Pops. Look at this. This is Toys R Us, McDonald's collectibles. Like literally anything you find out there, you can bring here, sell it, trade it. Like everything you can imagine. So we got a first Pokemon set up right there already. You can see the packs and boosters. Seinfeld. Stuff that you didn't even realize that you probably walked by is worth a lot right here. Look at this. Crazy. Look at Kobe Bryant. Hot Wheel collection over here too. Get a mix up of this. That's pretty dope. Oh, they get more Pokemon stuff. We get bikes against the walls. Classic vending machines. And for the Lego fans, they got, look at, retired sets. It's probably stuff that you obviously wouldn't, sign, wouldn't find out there again. Star Wars fans. This is really crazy. A whole Lego store. Damn. Check it out, boys. We have quite a bit of collection over here. We're gonna get some of these display pieces because we wanna make the background look a lot better. They, didn't, they ran out of the packs that we were really searching for, but that's okay. We also have some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff that we might grab. But we, this is only our second aisle into this place, and you're into quite a bit of places here. So this is what we're working on, trying to see if maybe we barter and trade right now, or, you know, kind of kind of run into what we're looking for to get you guys some, some boxes to be excited about. But pretty, pretty cool stuff that they have here. And they actually have one that we pulled, bam, right there. So definitely worth coming to check out. So we traded our first card right now and got two boxes sealed for the Yu-Gi-Oh side of us and then we're gonna trade for our base mat. Next we still have these cards to go trade on and we're only in the second aisle of this place. So pretty good trade so far, but we're gonna walk around and see what else we can kind of run into, you know? So we found like the holy grail of trading cards back and forth. Look at this. Crazy, like a full section just of trading, bartering cards. It is extremely nuts over here. I haven't recorded half of the stuff I've seen just, just in taking it all in. It's crazy over here. I love it. So a couple of trades we were able to do. I traded one of the Forbidden Knights or Forbidden Trap cards for a complete Exodia and a Dark Magician girl. So I'm gonna show you guys that a little bit later. We didn't have too much time left. We came here with only like an hour and some change, but that's not enough time to completely look at this place. So we just ran through it. So my goal is to come back on Wednesday and do some more trading with the Pokemon cards and all that other stuff. Obviously everyone wants that main card that we pulled the other day. So we're gonna try to see what kind of deals we can work out from there. But nonetheless, pretty cool spot couple of traded of open boxes and a play mat. So we'll get home later to set up to open up some boxes and uh, go from there. So we are getting ready to start our meeting for the WhatNot app. And I kind of just figured I'd set this down here and I kind of record the conversation. So once this happens, we'll be able to go live and uh, be able to sell on the app and go live for our live auction. So let's go ahead and see and you guys are gonna join us for a quick orientation. Hello everyone, my name's Ryan from the WhatNot Sports Card Team. All right, we'll go ahead and give it another couple seconds or so, let everyone else hop on in. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, just as we get started, please go ahead and put your microphones on mute. All right, guys, so with that being said, the WhatNot app application is finished. I'm sorry, my lighting is very poor here in my room, but I've been working like tireless, tirelessly to get this going. Now, I wanna launch the website. What's pretty cool about that is that Shopify allows me to sell all these collectible products on through our website so we can do payment plans, all that other cool stuff. On second thing, the OneNot app is a live streaming source to where you can do the live bids and auctions. So we're gonna definitely get into promoting that. Pretty, pretty heavy. But if you guys wanna support and buy any of the cards, trading cards, memorabilia, types of cool stuff we're gonna be posting on the website, you can direct buy it through Shopify and um, kind of go from there. So in a way that I'm kind of launching this, I'm waiting for my logo to be made and I'm waiting for a special surprise that I got coming for everything of this before I actually launch that. So what I'm doing is gathering all these cool trading cards, gathering and packaging these mystery boxes, 
and uh, putting all these cool things together. It's just an idea of mine that I want to test and see if it works before we actually reach out into doing it. So I'm actually, I mean, I quite, I quit, I invested quite a bit of money into this already um, starting this. So I'm pretty excited because I want to launch it and give it a very good first impression because to me first impressions kind of mean a lot. It's very, very important. So with that being said, our Frankenstein visit yesterday, which I believe was yesterday, this part of this video, and uh, collecting this, I'm actually going to go Wednesday again to try to do some more bartering and trading for some of the Pokemon cards and get a lot more sealed boxes so you guys can join in the bids, the raffles, the games, the fun, and so much more on whatnot. So I shared a link on our whatnot page. Uh, for you guys to get direct access to not only follow us, but you also get $10 off your first purchase. The purchase doesn't have to be with us, uh, but it could be with anybody or just a user or just signing up. You get $10 off of that right away, which is pretty great. And um, with that being said, we're just taking steps at getting this started. And then as it comes for the shop, the Oma Motorsports, and still take, staying continuously doing that, you guys can buy on there. We're still shipping to you guys direct all the time and still keeping up with that. I'm kind of laying low on that part because I got big plans coming for that. And that's why I always kind of post 2023 as my era. Because right now I'm kind of just taking my time and figuring out which ways I'm going to want to move. And when 2023 comes around the corner, it'll all make sense. Maybe even sooner. But the only way you guys can find out direct exclusive information is if you guys go to our Oma Motorsports app and you guys apply or not apply, but you guys subscribe for $4.99. It gives you exclusive content, details, upgrades, and updates on that. So I have a whole platform coming, and trust me, guys, it just takes so much and it consumes so much. So as I'm editing this video, I'm promoting on a lot of other pages. So if you guys stay up with me, whatever platform it is, I appreciate you guys so, so much. And this is where usually my laboratory is, you know? My lab is right here. So I can't wait to bring this, launch this to you guys, and combine both worlds. Cards to cards. Cards to cards. Uh, memorabilia and so much more stuff. So I'm just really taking a risk and combining this platform I really really hope it takes off and it works because just like you guys I'm just like you guys I love to play video games do trading cards collect memorabilia sports I love it all and I love cards So trying to do my best to combine both to both of them and bring them to you So nonetheless enough with the rant. Thank you guys for joining us in today's video Make sure you guys subscribe like share follow for more box opening videos bids lives auctions and on top of that we're going to be trying to include that into the car game so maybe give you guys raffles at suspension wheels and tires um coil overs, spoilers and so much more i'm still working on that trust me you'll never lose your first love in cars because that is what started it all so oh well, we continue to chase the dream we continue to push forward and we continue no to, no matter what to keep our head up against the odds with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video Drop down some comments below if you guys enjoyed it. Drop down some positive in the comments. Let me know you guys are tuning in and what you guys are excited for. 2023 is my goal. Take off.